Well, I'm going to try my Hero again. Uh, it's uh, got a new case, which just wraps around the outside uh, circumference of the uh, camera. And it has openings for the sound and for the power. And uh, so I just got it yesterday. I'm going to try it out. Uh, it comes with a lens protector, which, you know, just slides off. And uh, it's very minimal in its structure. But I uh, thought I'd try it out uh, today and see how it works. Because it does have a better image than uh, my cameras. All right, I'm going to get to work. All right, I gotta take off some of this wood. The best way to do that is with a little jigsaw. I hope this works. I don't have any hard edges on the uh, base. All right, using uh, this muscle guide that I've got, it's uh, one of those 3D uh, renditions from uh, ZBrush, I'm, th I'm thinking. But it shows me the muscles. And I watched a video today of them dissecting a dog's front shoulder and neck. And it helped me to understand just a little bit better uh, the muscle layout and all this other stuff. So, like this muscle here just lays. It's a very, it's not a real thick muscle, but it just lays over this muscle, which comes up and connects to the bottom of the shoulder blade. And uh, that's, that was really fascinating to watch. I got the sculpting stand cam going here. In other words, I've got uh, my camera hooked up or on a wood base and uh, see how this works. My friend uh, Tanya over in Australia has a dog that's similar to this, if not exactly the same breed. And uh, she sent me a whole bunch of pictures. And it takes an artist to really understand how to photograph a, a model. And she sent me some great photographs of the head and, and uh, neck and legs and paws and everything else. So I'm really thankful for her assistance. Actually, his ears are wider apart. Yeah.
out the front two. There. And this side two. got my mouse for my computer so I can go through the photographs let me see if I can show you my photographs if you can see it on the screen right there I got photographs of his paws and front legs even showing the vein going down along the side of the leg right there above the uh, the wrist joint of the dog I call it the wrist and uh, I can see a little bit better the muscle structure on the inside of the leg through that picture. I also notice the knobs on top of the knuckles of the uh, paw. So uh, this, these photographs are just immensely helpful. I know you can't see them, but I, I can and that's all that counts. All right, I'm going to uh, make the uh, paws. And the key is to make them the same size as the other paws. Now I'm not going to be able to show you the detail because of the camera. Just uh, ain't going to let me do that, but uh, you get an idea what I'm doing here. Having those photographs. Man, can't, Tanya, if you can hear me, thank you so much. We don't have that kind of dog around here. We got sheep dogs up the yin yang. Because this is sheep and cattle country here. I'm taking some of what I learned from horse anatomy to uh, do this. Something I need to check first. Make sure I got the same distance between there and there. So I do between there and there, and I do. All right. I've got the other side started, and I'm going to go ahead and get started on this side. Notice I got my horse sculpture here, and that's only because the muscles are the same. It's just, you know, different uh, sizes of uh, the muscle.
Boy, there's a real tendency to want to get carried away with these muscles, but you can't. Because they're different than a horse. And, uh, again, you don't want to make a Schwarzenegger dog either. Schwarzenegger. Even though this side's going to probably not be seen, I still want it to look good. Well, there's the clay so far. I repositioned him a little bit further out front, having his hip touching the uh, robe for support because when you get it turned around about well right there you can see where the the dog starts coming in to play here and that looks kind of cool and I like the way it is coming around his robe right there and uh, turn his head just a little bit more in the direction that the Indian is looking to. I can see some things I need to adjust on his body, but uh, right now, for now, it uh, looks great, and I'm happy with it, and uh, that's going to be it for today. I'll see you next time.